Let's do a quick tour of the Rainmakers Networking Toolkit, starting from the very beginning. First thing I recommend you do is watch the video you find on the homepage, meetlearngrow.com. That'll explain what you're looking at. Next, if you've never been here before, you need to fill out the form on the right-hand column in order to get your toolkit. This is a new program that you're going to be enrolling in. It's a free program for Rainmakers members, but you need to fill out the form to verify your membership. Once you've done that, you never have to do it again. At the top of the screen is where you can log in using the username and password that gets provided to you when you create your Rainmakers Networking Toolkit. As soon as I log in, I'm looking at the Rainmakers dashboard, but you'll notice looking at the top of the page that I am within a much larger software. This all runs on the Address2 platform. I can create new accounts, search for them, list them. I can manage my tasks and campaigns and projects. This does a lot of things inside Address2. Anywhere you're at, anytime you want to get back to the Rainmakers dashboard, you just click the Networking Toolkit icon under the Quick Search box. So here on this dashboard, these are the four tools that are provided to us through the Rainmakers Networking Toolkit. The first one is Matchmaker, and it's very simple. You just click Create a New Profile, you answer some questions about who you need to meet, and we can start matching you with other members. The next one is Hub Driver. I'm going to click on the Action Board for the main event, which is a board that I serve on. And now I can see all my fellow board members. Because I am a member of this action board, I can click Email All Members, uh, and it will bring up an email to all the members. I can also invite friends. Now, anybody can invite friends to any event. What this opens is a new box where I'm now searching through My Contacts. One of the things you may notice is that before you can ever get to this stage, it's going to ask you to upload your own contacts to your database, to your Address2 database. That's what I'm using. These are the people I know out of my own list that I'm adding to the invite list. That's who I'm inviting. So it's got to be people that you already have in your Address2 account. Once I have selected the people I want to invite, I simply just add them to the invitation list. I can go back, and like I said, I can do this for any event. So if I want to search for, let's say, Rush Hour, I'm going to go find that event. I know I'm going to be there next Wednesday, and I want to invite a friend to come join me. I can go to the Rush Hour event in the Hub Driver, click on Invite Friends. Once again, I'm going to search through my database for my friend, and find Ralph in here. I'm going to add him to the invitation list. And when I click Send Invitation, it's going to open a new email. I happen to use Outlook to send emails. It's put a link to that event in the body of the email. It's got Ralph and the two as the recipient and then a subject networking invitation. From here, I can type whatever I want to type and send an invitation to Ralph. Now let's look at Member Find. Member Find is probably the most commonly used function of the Rainmakers Networking Toolkit. It's just a query tool. I can search the Rainmakers member database for people based on different criteria. So I'm going to say first name, and then I can change my operator. So I'm going to go to Contains uh, and just put in R-A-L-P, because uh, maybe I'm not sure how Ralph is spelled, or I just want to put in a part of it. I can then go and pick a different field. I'm going to click on More Detail and add another field that I'm going to search by. So I'm going to get more and more specific to narrow down my results. I'm going to search where the company contains SCI. I can't really remember what the rest of the company name was. Was. And uh, of course, that was just an example, so I got no results. Um, I can now use the uh, industry search to look people up in the database. Anytime I search, whatever results I come up with, uh, what you want to know is over to the right under the column where it says add, I can click this icon to add this person. Once I've found whoever I was looking for, I can add that person from the Rainmakers database into my database. That's what we're doing here. It opens up the new account screen in the Address2 software. Scrolling to the very bottom, I can save this as a new account in my database, my personal contact list of people I know and want to stay in touch with. Once I've done that, I now own this contact. They've been added to my database. I can take notes on what I've talked to them about. So I can scroll down and see the history of all of our interaction. I can search for them. I can find them. I could uh, take notes here, so uh, take notes on a conversation and add it to the history. I can even schedule a follow-up task as Address2 supports. This is adding this contact to my database. Finally, now that I'm out in uh, the Address2 software doing other functions, if I want to get back to the dashboard, I click on the Rainmakers Networking toolkit icon. The last thing to show you is there is a tutorial video on all the Address2 features in the lower right-hand corner. I encourage you to watch it and learn what you can do.